day the guy on the buffalo was cruising around through the plains and seen a bear. And he thought to himself, oh man, I gotta get away from the bear. Hope he don't chase, oh no, he's gonna chase me. Oh no, I better just turn around and chase him back. Cause guess what? I'm on a buffalo. We've uh, already come to this conclusion, but we're super professional. <laughs> Wait. Uh, welcome back from intermission, you guys. You made it this far. Thanks for sticking around. Let's do some more music, shall we, boys? You ready? This one's called Glory Road. Two directions, one goes high, Lord, and one goes low. You've been standing there for hours trying to make the right selection. Come on, join us on this narrow road. Take my hand. On the road, let's travel. History behind you, you can leave it in the rear view. Keep your eyes on the road ahead. Life's a race, but not for winning. But the end is the beginning, and the last shall be first instead. On the road, let's travel. Till we can't run no more. We will take our place in the big sky. With every new day 
I've got to make that choice To chase the sunshine Or let life steal my joy I got the chance to Start with gratitude Live on a storm clouds Or let the light break through What should I do? Still miserable. You know what, Tim? I don't know, buddy. Why live half empty, Colin, when you can live at full? Well, let's settle that. Don't take for granted one second of one day. You better recount those blessings, look to the heavens and say something like this. Sunshine, got no time for gray. Nothing's gonna take my joy away. Happiness is here and here to stay. Nothing's gonna take my joy away. Nothing's going to take my joy away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't take my joy. Beyonce moment. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? I just told you three times it's in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. My heart. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, yeah. This little light of mine, come on. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, here's the thing, you guys. Now I know we all have these little lights inside, and I feel you tonight. You're letting that light shine. But I also know that it's the year 2017, and we all have actual lights in our pockets and our purses. So I'm going to need you to pull out your device right now, wherever you are, and go ahead and turn that light on like I am. Reach down and grab it. Don't miss this moment. Where are those lights at, Oregon? There they are, all over the room. The phones are coming out. I see you, Samsung. I see you, iPhone. Apparently, they still make Blackberries. Are there any flip phones in the house? Way to hold out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now wave your phones in the air. Wave them like you just don't think about the consequences of waving them phones. Now drain, 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 drain your batteries with him and the Glory Boys tonight. That's right. Just let them go. Just let them drain so you can't get home because you were depending on that GPS. You're going to end up sleeping in your car in a field and you're going to get really cold. But it'll be worth it because you had so much fun in the Timmy Boy Boy show tonight. Huh. All right, look at all those phones. I love it. Okay, seriously, though, don't waste your battery. Do not put your phone away. Do not put it away, but turn the light off like I'm doing. Turn that light off and unlock your phone. Here's what I want to do. I want you to go to the part of the phone that does the emailing. I want to send you free music, let you know next time we're in town. All you have to do is send a quick email to the address on the screens behind me. So go to Compose New Message. Here's step one. 
and type this address into the two column in that email. Don't know what this says? It says free tunes, eh? At gmail.com. That's step one. Free tunes, eh? At gmail.com. That's Canadian. We should probably spell it out for them. Here we go. That's talking about F R E E T U N E S E H at gmail.com. Yeah. All right. Step two is this. In the subject of that email, just one word, all you got to write is Roseburg. That's where you live, Roseburg. Okay? Roseburg in the subject. You're almost done. One more step. Step three in the body of that email, just write me a quick note. Just say, I heart the glory boys. Or Tim, your jeans are a little too tight for your age. Or maybe something not so hurtful actually would be better. Because I know. Or I love turtles or whatever. And then hit send. Has anybody done all three steps? You've sent that email off. FreeTunesA at gmail.com, Roseburg, quick message, send. Where you at? Let me see that phone. Okay, all over the room. Okay, good. For the rest of you, just get her done eventually. Now, if you can. If you have a flip phone, you know what? Don't bother. All right. With every new day, I've got to make that choice. Is that right? Nah, we're good. <laughs> what's next? <laughs> I'm totally blanking. I know what's next. Lord, the light of your love is shining. Nope. Did you guys sing along with that? All right. It's not next. It's just all that came to my head. Um, what? Oh, I know what we're doing. Yeah, okay. So um, thank you for that. And, uh, and we'll make sure we don't spam you. Oh, actually, we probably will. We'll, here's the thing. Um, you're going to start getting, uh, you're going to get an email from us with the whole, like, uh, thank you for being here, and here's your free music. And then next time we're around, uh, we'd love it if you'd all come back and bring friends. And, uh, and that would be a good way for us to keep in touch. But you'll also start getting emails from, uh, from us on a daily and hourly, probably, basis as well. That's true. Well, it's fine. It's cool. It's for useful products that you used to buy from other people. Now you buy from Tim and the Glory Boys. Things like we've got heavily discounted cruises. We've got a river cruise on the Upaqua. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's in January. And um, we've got only, we've got this hookup with this dude. He's got, he, he gets us these uh, only recently expired uh, dairy products. Like it's still fine. The past few days is a few days ago, but we'll send that to you in the mail. And there's this Nigerian prince who's got this thing what? you're going to want to be a part of. I already am a part of it. Anyways. What should we do now? Oh, I know. Okay. Um, we're, we want to do a song right now that is, uh, that is actually really special to us as a band um, because it, it goes back to a decade that uh, all of us spent at least uh, a year living in. And, uh, and that decade uh, is called the 80s. Can we hear it for the 80s tonight? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't know if you need to be so excited about that decade, though, because mostly it was... Just embarrassing. The 80s, yes? The 80s brought us uh, such embarrassing things as uh, like the WWF and uh, Elf. And, um, and uh, hair metal. You guys remember hair metal? Remember the Christian version of hair metal? Striper? Yeah. That was a good time. Anyways, uh, we want to we wanna, uh, pay a little homage to the 80s in a way that I think uh, appropriately brings it back for a church audience that might have grown up in that decade. You see, before the digital revolution, all we had was, uh, was uh, the pop-up screen. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but hymns were actually a big deal for hundreds of years. And then very quickly, uh, a little thing called a chorus took over. And we didn't have any way to um, share the words because they were getting written so quickly and the hymn book publishers couldn't keep up, and so they had to devise a way, and that's when the Lord gave us something, as a church in North America especially. Uh, it started with the pop-up screen, and then, of course, found its culmination in the overhead projector. So we thought it would be uh, totally stupid and super fun to bring the overhead projector back, but we were trying to figure out how to do it. Like, we can't just show up in the middle of a, a set with an overhead projector and expect people to think it was cool. Uh, so we needed a reason, and we thought, well, I got it. 
we, we, if, we, if we go ahead and write a song about the overhead projector from the 80s, that experience, uh, then it'll make sense to be on the set list and we can play it for, for, for you tonight on tours like this. So, uh, so we, we started to write, excuse me. Seriously. Just kidding. <laughs> Pastor. Um, we, uh, we, as we were writing this song, we, uh, <clears throat> we realized that uh, this song isn't actually about the overhead projector at all. This song, as it turns out, because sometimes songs write themselves, uh, is about the overhead projector director. Uh, yeah. You know that guy or that girl that always uh, ran the overhead projector in the 80s at church, and they always took their job a little too seriously. <laughs> like, they felt like they had a lot of power, and I guess they kind of did. They always let it get to their head, and, uh, and they had to be up on the stage, because this thing has got to be proximity, and the, they thought they were in the band. They were never in the band. They weren't in the band. They weren't in the band. Anyways, this is a song about that guy. It's actually about a real dude. Um, John and I went to youth group together. We grew up uh, a lot of years. We've known each other. And uh, this was a real guy. I won't say his name because it doesn't exactly paint him in the best light. But Kenny was pretty weird, so maybe we should... Oh. <laughs> Anyways, this is a song about not Kenny. That's right. Good here. Let's see. <clears throat> Ready, boys? Oh, one last thing. Uh, since we have uh, this overhead projector here and, uh, and the screen, and I happen to write out all the words to the song on these transparencies, it only makes sense tonight to have somebody from the audience volunteer to be our overhead projector director. Here's the only thing. You need to have actual overhead projector experience in the 80s. There's always somebody. Sometimes they need to be voluntold. Is it you, bud? Come on down! Yeah, yeah! All right. I believe in you, sir. You look too young to be alive in the 80s. What's your, uh, what's your name? Don. Don. Okay, Don. Uh, Don, who was the one? Maybe I should make it, uh, who was that guy you were talking about earlier? Kenny? Kenny, you're Kenny, yeah. Well, I don't wanna. I feel bad for Kenny. <laughs> Um, okay, so these are, uh, you know what, actually, who's the one that Bolin told you to do this? Is it the person sitting beside you? We sh you, need a, you need an assistant. Who's going to be your assistant tonight? Who do you pick? Shannon. Come on down. Okay, Shannon. Because <clears throat> it really, I don't know if you're going to be able to handle this, honestly, Don. So, Don and Shannon, um, they're, they're, no, no, no. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I, I appreciate it. I uh, got it. Less talk, more uh, <clears throat> bluegrass rock. Uh, okay, so it's all in order. I don't know how many there are there, but I have to tell you this. These top two, you got to keep separately. Shannon, why don't you be the chorus girl? They'll show up every four of these. Does that make sense? And don't put them on until we're singing them. You got it? Don, you ready? No! No! Don! All right, here we go. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> It was 1987 when I first saw its light. This heaven sent technology changed things overnight. I boxed up all the hymnals for the future and come behold the overhead projector. To run the new projector seemed like only a dream until the pastor said, This might be your new ministry. Ah. I prayed for seven weeks and got a word from the Lord. Worky the overhead projector. Here it is! Oh, oh, oh. It is my lifelong call. To put the words on the wall. I am the certified director of the overhead projector. You'll never take this job from me. Well, I could have played the guitar, wrote old toms or the bass, but I was called to that projector at a very young age. My gifting isn't music, but I'm still in the band. I rock the overhead projector. Without my see-through pages, they'd be lost all the time. They'd be mumbling incoherently to shine. 
Jesus shine. Worship can't begin unless I'm up on that stage. Me and my overhead projector. Chorus. Well, I think you might have thrown it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. It is my lifelong call. Hey, there it is. C2, C2 is what you're looking for. I am the certified director of the overhead projector. You'll never take this job. Take, oh, I've got some news, said the pastor, that the board voted in. We're replacing your position with a new IBM. We sold all that old projector to the church down the street, and y'all have to turn in your transparencies. Well, those awful words hit me straight in my chest. Could this be a joke? Could this be a jest? You can have them, I said. Then a long silence lingered. When you pry them yourself from my cold, dead fingers. Let's see your dead fingers first, real quick. Just dead, dead fingers. Ugh. Maybe like shriveled up a little. Not moving, not moving. Ugh. Yeah, that's it. Well done. Oh. Oh. oh.
come a little closer. <laughs> um, we, uh, it's pretty narrow, isn't it? Um, we thought it would be fun and, uh, and uh, super awkward to just sort of uh, come off the stage for a little bit. Because here's, here's the reason. I think so often in our, in our gatherings, we, uh, we tend to kind of all be facing one direction and uh, we all look uh, to those on stage and it kind of makes us feel like we're not one of yous when we totally know that we're, we are. We're one big happy family, right? We're one body unified and we're the same um, no matter who we are and so uh, it's also a, a way I guess of, of simplifying sometimes uh, the older I get the more I just want to simplify my life and sometimes all these lasers and, and lights and things although good things uh, can be a little much so uh, can we strip it down and just kind of have a little sing along in the aisle here is this all right okay uh, here's what I want to do though just to, to set the mood can we just go ahead and, uh, and uh, <clears throat> just imagine right now that we are uh, maybe not in here. And maybe it's uh, a few degrees colder than it is right now outside. I'm assuming it's still pretty warm. But like the perfect fall night where you, you don't need a jacket, but you definitely need like a hoodie or a sweater or something. And the smell of like burning wood is in the air. And uh, right, right? And there's like an eagle soaring overhead and a, a wolf just howling, a single wolf in the distance. Just one wolf. If there's, if there's this many wolves, we've got a problem, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, we're on the banks of the Umpaka, and it's just wonderful. Can we go there in our minds, everybody? Let's go there in our minds. I think it should probably start like this. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Now we turn it into a prayer. Help the ducks win, Lord. Help them win. Come on, pray with us. Help the ducks win, Lord. They really need your help. We're talking about the championship, whatever it's called. The Super College Bowl. Right, brother. Let's do another one. Give me. This is a song for uh, Texas <laughs> and uh, Saudi Arabia. All in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me all in my lamp, I pray. Second verse, Colin, you got this? Colin is the son of a trucker, who's also the son of a trucker. It's in the family, it's in the blood, and it goes like this. Give me gas in my Ford, keep me trucking for the Lord. Give me gas in my Ford, I pray. Give me gas in my Ford, keep me trucking for the Lord. Give me gas in my Ford today. somewhere it's singing there bud okay uh what's next guys what do we rehearse uh for the next oh no hold on band band meeting um uh real quick here uh lean in we should uh 
uh, I don't think we rehearsed any other songs, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> feeling kind of embarrassed. Why don't we uh, take some requests? Yeah, yeah. No, but here's here's the thing. I think uh, this will save us. Uh, how about we only let them request songs that we know? <laughs> right? Yeah, right? Like Makes sense. Okay. Okay. We had a meeting, and uh, I don't know if you heard any of that, but uh, songs we know. It's an important way for this to work, um, and. Um, and we think we can pull this off. It might go horribly wrong. It might work. But uh, here's how that happens. You request songs that everybody knows, and then we'll probably know them as well. Well-known songs, older the better, uh, like, like old hymns or whatever, just songs that we all could sing along to. So what do you got for us? Roseburg. One bright morning when this stop is over, When we go up to that place in the sky, uh, I don't know it, I don't know it, I'll wing it. The glory boys will be there and hopefully this sky. I wait, it's a good chance. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by your body. Oh, that's a good start. Sorry, man. I'm just, there's probably a 95% chance you're there. Can't be sure, right? I mean, are we Calvinist here or Arminianist or does it matter? Okay. What's the next song? I've got to stop. What do you got? What do you got? Hallelujah. That one? Or there's so many hallelujahs. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we're still going? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I got this, man. Come on. Come on, Don. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ended on the six for some reason. Oh, yeah, the old rugged cross. That's a great one. Um, that I know really well. <laughs> on a hill. Far away So good. Good, good night, sweetheart. We're thinking like more, more gospel songs, but maybe good night, Jesus. Good night, my Lord. Well, it's time. That's gonna get weird. Never mind. I like it though. Great request. <laughs> Did I hear Jesus loves me? Jesus loves me. I love it. Okay, how about, um, you were saying that all, the whole time. I, I heard it, sort of, but let's do it now. How, how about we do this, though? Are there any kids here? I've seen some. Where are the kids? Like, if you're 12 years old or younger, put your hand in the air so I can see it. They're all around us, Don. Put your hand down. Okay, you guys can be a part of this. Um, this is for you. 
<clears throat> Jesus loves me this I know need you, okay? What if I said that no grown-ups were allowed to sing? It's all on you. Would you be open to that? Just singing your little hearts out? Because this is a kid's song after all, and um, that's how many of us learned it as children. So um, why don't we go ahead and have the kids sing? No grown-ups sing. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. I know. Good job. Little ones, I hear some adults, they are weak, they so good. Was that your first time doing that? Yeah. I'm so honored. That was one of these pounds. You did it. Um, oh, so special. Uh, can we do this just um, to kind of wrap this time? I, it feels like we're having church here tonight. Yeah? yeah. And I. I have to say, I just, there's no uh, place I'd rather be than just with God's people, even if, you know, we're complete strangers from different countries uh, and, um, and, you know, different lives and journeys. It, we're all brought here, not just us and you, but you and you. I mean, there's lots of denominations here and churches and, and, and you know, like all from, from young to old, and it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful picture of what heaven's going to look like, honestly. Um, and... And I, uh, I want to just uh, maybe wrap this up with, with doing something that might get even more awkward. But um, I think it's cool. Uh, if we could just have a few people pray, just out loud. I think we're small enough we could pull this off, um, leading the congregation in prayer. You don't have to be like somebody with a PhD in uh, theology to do this. Anybody can. Uh, however, we would ask that the Pentecostals wouldn't go on and on and on. <laughs> just kidding. Also inappropriate are the, uh, the two-word Baptist prayers, okay? So somewhere in the middle. Uh, and, uh, and we'll get her done. But whatever's on your heart, if it's the outpouring of just what God's been doing in you of late or tonight, or if it's just a desperate cry, whatever, we'll just agree and we'll just be the church. So let's pray right now. One at a time, nice and loud.
That's awesome. One, one or two more. Amen to that. Jesus, thank you for just this time we get to share with your children um, and as your family. So grateful. And we just, uh, wow, we just say thank you. Just lift up maybe those tonight too that are just feeling like they are far from you. Those that wouldn't say they have a relationship, wouldn't know you. Would you just open the eyes of their hearts, open up opportunity to have conversations work the questions out and to just be uh, be found and um, for those that are just feeling like they need an extra touch from you tonight those that are feeling weak and, and uh, faint of heart those that are dealing with real life things like uh, death and mourning and grieving those that are um, suffering from depression or just loneliness that are um, hiding under things that they wouldn't want their closest friends to know about. We just uh, pray for your freedom to be in us and through us, your courage to confront the things that we need to, and your, uh, your love to just guide us through it all. We need you, Jesus. Bring back the prodigals, the sons and the daughters, to the mothers and fathers. Restore marriages and families, churches, church boards, elders, pastors. Unify the churches in Roseburg. Oregon. Thank you for your sweet spirit here. We love you. Amen. One more time. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Amen. Amen. <laughs> there it is.
They're like, he's not going to preach at us again. We got this. <laughs> uh, uh, I just, uh, I could seriously do that for another couple hours until the police show up and shut us down. <laughs> That'd be weird. Do you guys have police here? This is no crime. The Roseburg is just... No? <laughs> Did I hear a yeah, right? Well, you know, we've got something to work towards, I guess. Um, and that's sort of where the peace and love of God is uh, going to work the hardest, right? Um, we, uh, man, this is, I can't tell you how special it is to have this many people show up tonight on the first date of this uh, kind of I-5 run we're on. And, um, and, uh, and how uh, vulnerable a thing it is to kind of just book it and then, you know, hope people show up. And as we saw the tickets kind of coming in, we were just like, I, we can't believe it. Like, our mothers must be buying these tickets. <laughs> and, uh, and just to see a full room, it always chokes me up. And I, uh, and I just want to tell you how full our hearts are to be uh, feeling like we're a part of your family. Like, just like that. And, um, and just to be accepted here in this, um, this little part of Oregon. And uh, I cannot wait to come back again in, in a year or so. We'll do it. I assume that means you will also come back. That's good. Um, and we have your email addresses, and you'll be sick of our spamming, but maybe this faithful will stick up. All right, we have to end. I promised somebody we'd end at 9.30, but we had a, a late start. We didn't even get a chance to move our bus. I don't know if you noticed that 65-foot uh, rig. That's our bus. Maybe you tripped over it. Anyways, it's still there, isn't it? It's just sitting in the middle of the parking lot like rock stars. I don't even care. They're going to walk around us. That's right. I promise you, that was not our intention. <laughs> it was your fault. It was United Airlines' fault. Come on, let's just be honest here. And that, that customs agent as well gave you a bit of a hard time. Anyways, we won't get into that. I just got into that a little bit, but we won't get into it anymore. Uh, we should probably end this thing. Yeah, let's end uh, with a party. Would that be okay? Okay. Every, every great hoedown ends with a party. What song? I guess we'll just go for it, right? Um, stand up. And, uh, and go and just dust off the, uh, the cobwebs. You've been sitting for a while. Uh, and and, and um, go ahead and, and repeat after me. Actually, find a partner right now. Just look at them, look into their eyes, and repeat after me. Say, I apologize in advance for stepping all over your feet and making a complete fool of myself. Because I am a boat, say it like a Canadian, am a boat to hold down. Are you ready, boy? the secret out Down with the kingdom's all aboard Take this party to the street Finding everyone to the wedding feast Ooh, Everybody gather around Stomp your feet and shake the ground Shout it loud if you believe That the kingdom of God is a party Fly. Well, the banjo starts to testify. So we hope that you enjoy. It's a hold down with the glory boy. Everybody gather around. Stomp your feet and shake the ground. Shout it loud if you believe. That the kingdom of God is a in the same big tree, amen. Brothers, sisters, old and young, let's calm down and have some fun. Everybody, stop your fish. 
talking about you're like animal ah, ah okay ah. we gotta end seriously though